Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of CAP TV. I'm Jesse. And I'm Aaron. Tonight we'll be talking all about sports. We'll be also be viewing some of the sports programs that are active around campus. But first, we'll be right back after the short break. Hey, what's up, guys? This is John Kerry here at WXCU Radio. And today I'm playing my radio show where I play my own music on this station, which is really cool to get to do that. And I get a bunch of feedback from callers coming in, and it really helps me with the overall mastering and other mixing aspects of the original final product. And it's a really great experience to be here, so you guys should really definitely think about joining it, because it's awesome. Nathan Holt. You may have seen me walking around campus cleaning up trash every morning. Capital University has given me this time to talk to you about something we both really care about. Littering. Think about this. Many of you littering right now are under 20. Do you realize that at 20 you've only lived one fourth of your life? Imagine how much trash you'll leave if you keep going like that. Listen, you've got at least three fourths of your life to go. So don't blow it. Don't litter. If you're littering, stop it. Get some help. Capital wants to give the earth a chance. And so do I. Before joining Phi Beta, I was quite shy. Phi Beta has given me some of the most amazing friendships I could have ever asked for. It's a really beautiful thing that people can use their different art forms together collaboratively and to make something really awesome. Phi Beta has helped me grow into a person I could have never imagined myself being a few years ago and I'm forever grateful. This is outside the Westside Free Store. This is the inside. It's on the corner of Broad and Powell. This is Barb, the executive director. This is Vicky, a volunteer. This is what they have to say. Because it's such a worthwhile um, organization, and we provide so much to help uh, so many. Doors when I leave here because I know that that I've done something for somebody else and it, it didn't come, one, out of my pocket, but it came from somewhere else. Welcome back to CAP TV. Now we are going to move on and take a look at some of many of Capital University's sports teams. All right, today I'm here with Alex, Mikey, Aiden. All right, so who do you guys think is going to win the Super Bowl this year? Give me the Niners. <laughs> Niners as well. I'm taking the Niners. Why do you guys think the Niners are going to win the Super Bowl? Well, I just don't <laughs> want to see the Chiefs win, to be honest. They've gotten enough. I want to see Brock Purdy get one. Brock Purdy. Yeah, I'd say Brock Purdy and the Niners have been favored in every game this year, so I think they're going to pull it out. Now, as, a, as you two are uh, Browns fans, how does it feel not, not watching the Super Bowl as your favorite team? It so. hurts. I bet. Yeah, it's pretty tragic. I'm not gonna lie. But that's just the Browns thing now. Yeah, it's just the Browns. Is the Browns. We're used to it. You know, one day they'll get there. One day. One day. Whether well, that's in the next year, ten years, hundred years, Maybe. they'll get Maybe. there one day. <laughs> one day. All right. So next question is track. We obviously don't do track anymore. So how do you got? Start with you, Mikey. How's uh, track going with you? It's going good. We just got a DMR school record, so it's going great. Nice. So it's I'll, going it's going pretty well. Got a lot of PRs, a lot of PRs, but for myself, a lot on the team. So it's been pretty successful for everybody. Yeah. So uh, the track season's going really well. Uh, opened up with a uh, 3K, went pretty decent. Um, this past weekend, we ran a DMR with some of our guys and ended up breaking the school record. So that was a lot of fun. Looking forward, we got a 3K coming up again. Trying to do a lot better in that event. And then we're doing um, OACs, so we're, we're looking to score big in conference this year as a team, and I think we've got a really good chance to be in the top three, which would be uh, first time in a long time, or maybe first time ever that the, the, the team would do it for the school. So it would be really exciting and looking forward to outdoor too. And uh, NBA's <coughs> about to start playoffs. Who do you guys think is going to take it all this year? Uh, give me the... 
The Nuggets going back to back. I don't know, dude. I don't like NBA. Nobody. <laughs> Boston Celtics. Boston Celtics. Go Celtics, yeah. Give me the Cleveland Cavaliers. <laughs> no way. Or I, one. Nah. They're, they won in 2016. They're not winning ever again. Ever and ever. I'm not saying ever, but like <laughs> not not with this roster. They don't have no LeBron or Kyrie. Or yeah, Donovan Mitchell. Kevin Love. I mean, Donovan's leaving after. This. <laughs> He's a good player. You know, Donovan Mitchell's Mitchell. leaving after this year, so. We're gonna get a ring with him. Mm-hmm. He's gonna like Brooklyn or New York next year, so better enjoy him while you guys last. But anyway, so with hockey, you have to see who's who here is a hockey fan. <laughs> Just you. <laughs> All right, who do you guys think is going to the Stanley Cup this year? Give me the Vancouver Canucks. I can see that. You know, they lost in 2011. Heartbreak, yeah. mm-hmm. game seven. Yep. Who, do you, who do you guys think is going to win the Stanley Cup? Blackhawks. Chicago Blackhawks. <laughs> hey, Blackhawks as well. We're the worst, team in the, <laughs> we're the worst team in the league right now, but we're going to turn things around. So, anyways, appreciate it. Of course. We'll be back after this break. This is a Capital University public service announcement. No Hall Sports. It saves lives. My name is John Dooley, and this is A Touch of Beauty Salon, Barber, and Spa. We're located at 844 East Main Street, between 17th and 18th Street, and we've been here for over a year. Just as our name suggests, we provide a full range of services for salon, barber, and spa. Our hairstylists offer the very best in relaxers, perms, hair additions, haircuts, updos, and styling packages for events. Our barbers provide razor cuts and full service haircuts. And our salon provides a premier assortment of services in professional manicures, pedicures, facials, waxing, and body wraps. We're open Monday through Saturday, 9 to 6, and Sundays by appointment. We love walk-ins and we offer specials daily. You can visit us at atouchofbeautyhair.com. My name is John Lambert, and uh, the name of the company is Alpha Protection Systems. And so uh, we are in the business of installing alarm systems, camera systems, and recently we begin to do more computer repair and servicing. So uh, we've been around for a number of years. Hi, my name is Prophet, and I'm an apprentice at Alpha Protection. It wasn't like really a lot of options. I was just out of high school, and I was trying to figure out where to go to. So they got me into computers there, and then I figured out I really, really like this. So I should like start really studying more and getting into the computer field. So then I remembered that this man's shop was like literally right around from my house and I'm like, oh my God, there's a local shop right here. So I started like going in, asking questions, um, seeing exactly how much I knew versus how much I needed to know. And eventually I was just like immersed not only by the shop, by the information, but by the fact that like it also had culture. Then I've just been coming back for more and more and more and more and more. It's been awesome. I 
just want to boast about the best. What? Lips smacking ribs and slamming chicken. I just want to boast about the best. I just want to boast about the best. What? Being K Smokehouse is main a champion. folks it's our next portion of the show we'll be going over some recent upcoming sports events but first i'd like to introduce a special guest cat tv zone ronnie welcome glad to have you on the show with us all right so the first uh topic we're going to talk about is we got a pretty important uh football game coming on this sunday we got super bowl 58 between the kansas city chiefs and the san francisco 49ers so why did it have to be them of all teams why did it have to be them i don't care what you're wearing Look at what I'm wearing. I mean, Bengals didn't make the playoffs this year, man. That's only because Burrow got hurt. I'm hey. still bitter about that. All right, so my question is, who do you, th you think is going to win Super Bowl 58? For me, uh, I want San Francisco to win. I'm tired of Kansas City, personally. And I think uh, yes. the 49ers were the projected favorites to come out of this year. So um, I think they should be, or they should win. Um, I don't know what that's going to look like. It's going to probably be Brock Purdy has to show up, um, and you know, mm -hmm. and the defense is definitely has to show up as well, uh, because Patrick Holmes is coming. You know, <laughs> the thing about Kansas City is they've been there before. You know, Travis Kelsey, uh, Taylor Swift. <laughs> <laughs> you know, can, can we go through a Super Bowl show without talking about the uh, the Taylor Swift elephant in the in the stadium? I mean, it's it's a good story. You know, so. it's it's a bad thing when. You, uh, Usher, the halftime person, will be outshined by Taylor Swift, especially if Kansas City wins. You know, I'm surprised it's Usher. If. You're if. surprised? I'm, I'm, I thought they'd bring in, like, Taylor Swift, you know. Be, I, I'll yeah. also be well, surprised, too, I've, as well. Yeah. From what I've heard, they get the, uh, <laughs> the, the performers years in advance, or at the very least months in advance. All right, so here's my question. Who do you think is coming to the Super Bowl this year? I... Th well, I don't like either team that much, but I, the lesser of two evils to me is the 49ers. So, I mean, I got the Kansas City Chiefs. You know, I'm wearing the Chiefs right now. So, I think Kansas City is going back to back. All right, next topic, you guys, the NFL draft. <clears throat> so, the Chicago Bears have the first overall pick. Two years in a row, obviously, they traded it last year to Carolina, who, who they drafted Bryce Young. That obviously did not turn out. Do you think Chicago is going to take a quarterback, or do you think they're going to, like, <clears throat> Trust Justin Fields. What do you think? I think they go after a quarterback here. You know, you have Caleb Williams projected to go first. He's a prodigy of a player. Um, I think it would be smart for uh, the Chicago Bears to trade uh, Justin Fields, especially since they can get a whole bunch of capital back. You talk about Atlanta Falcons. They desperately need a quarterback. You talk about the Saints. They desperately need a quarterback. So I think the smart move will for Chicago will be to take a quarterback. Also, other teams like the Patriots, um, need a quarterback as well, and so does the Commanders, whether that's going after somebody like Drake May or um, somebody like um, the dude from LSU. I forgot his name. Um, uh, uh, quarterback. The quarterback. Justin Dayton Daniels. Jayden Daniels. See, I think, I think um, Chicago should not. I think they should trust Justin Fields and draft the Ohio State wide receiver Marvin Harrison Jr. They yeah, could go that route. I they des they desperately need help on the receiver end, but I think they can get uh, receivers, uh, especially for Atlanta. Um, that whole division, uh, the NFC um, North, is very young. You know, you have Green Bay up and coming. You have Detroit up and coming. Minnesota is a quarterback away. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see. Yeah, I, th I think uh, Chicago would be, should probably focus on trying to give Justin Fields some weapons that he can actually use. For from what I've heard, uh, take this with a gram of salt, Justin Fields is a great quarterback. He's just on a bad team that don't give him anything to work with. A good quarterback can only do so much if the offensive line is terrible or he does, or if he has bad receivers. So I think they should, st they should stick with Justin Fields for now and then try to get him some actual weapons to use. Yeah, the thing about Chicago is they're not a smart uh, franchise, so they're probably going to be stupid and take Caleb Williams and... Restart because I feel like they drafted Justin Fields two years ago, 
to rebuild. And these last few years have been wasted. Also, what's your thoughts on Bill Belichick? Where do you think he, he's going? You um, see, I think he's taking a year off. And if he does not get anything next year, he's going to say, you know, I had a great career. Just hang, up, just hang it up and go to retirement, just like Nick Saban. Yeah. What about um, yeah. Jim Harbaugh? He recently went to the Chargers after winning. Yeah, I'm not guy. a big fan of that guy. Yeah, you're not a big fan of that guy. Cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater, if yep. you ask me. <laughs> So, final topic is we got the World Cup in America in 2026. You know, they just came out that the final is going to be in New Jersey. New Jersey. Who yeah. do you think is going to win? I, I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see. I don't know why they chose New Jersey out of all places. That's kind of like a dumpster fire. Yeah, you know, it's not even. LA or something. LA, yeah. But, so. I maybe, see, I, I, think, I think it's coming home this year. England's going all the way. God save the king. Yeah, I, my, I may be a bit biased, but I hope uh, America can take home the cup. You see, think about you know, USA. They're young. You know, they're not, they're not these top European. They're just gonna lose. So I could see France going all the way, but uh, give me, give me England. It's coming home. Yeah, our motherland country. Uh, we may have oh, yeah. a bias towards them too. Oh yeah, I mean. So I mean, I cannot wait to go to these World Cup game matches. It's like once in a lifetime opportunity. So. I well, hope you enjoy them. Oh, yeah, you know, if I know the final is going to be what, a lot. It's gonna, but you, you, you got you to, like, go to, like, a World Cup game. You know, that's, like, once in a lifetime. What, when's the World Cup going to be in America? Mm, uh, <laughs> money, that's an issue. Yeah. So, so. It, if it comes back to America, I'll, pro I'll think about it, though. I'm not much of a soccer person. Are you going to go to any games this year? I don't know. I don't know. But we'll be uh, right back. Uh, there's this uh, quick commercial break. Transit Arts is a safe place, a place for kids to express themselves, be free. Here you get a chance to explore who you really are, what you really like, and, and make some mistakes, or you know, learn off each other, or get challenged by people you see doing things, but do it in a way where you're not measured for a grade, so it, can, it gives you a chance to own it and go into your own kind of creative side. So it's an opportunity to see other people thriving in their own strengths. Anything, any problems going on at home or anything like that, come here, feel like a family, feel togetherness. We create a, a family, we create a space, you know, for, you don't have to be a, a real fine artist, but you can come in an art room and make crafts, or you can make something, or you can be creative, you can paint. Come and just check out the environment, see if you vibe with it, like it. It's a social and, and a learning skill, so it's really, I think it's really essential. Welcome back to Cap TV. So we're going to talk about NBA. So who do you think is going to win the NBA Finals this year? It's hard to tell right now. You have a three-way tie in the West between the Clippers, the uh, mm -hmm. T-Wolves, and the Thunder. Uh, the Thunder, remarkable season so far, right. uh, definitely, for sure. With that young team they have. Man. Yeah, I think, I, I think that's the youngest team in the NBA, right? Yeah. I Other think than so. the Spurs. And, and Spurs got a bright future with Victor Wembanyama. You know? uh, yeah. You gotta put some pieces around uh, him, but I think he shows promise as long as he doesn't get injured. Yeah. Um, so I mean, like, there's like, like I said, there's a lot of great teams out there. You got the Celtics, you got the Timberwolves, you got the Bucks, you know, you got the Heat, you even got the even Cleveland Cavaliers. I think, I think, I think the Heat are uh, 
one move away. I mean, I, I don't think Terry Rozier was the smart move um, here because both him and Tyler Hero are the exact same person. Uh, they need more shooting on that team. Um, I think they're a first round exit at best. Um, Cleveland is showing a lot of uh, promise, you know, especially playing route Darius Garland to get him back. I would love to see how that team can gel together because they've been ousted in the first round. Since they added somebody like Max Struess, you know, a key forward that they desperately needed, um, he could shoot threes and hopefully Cleveland. They're currently a two seed, so you yeah, know, he could make a splash in the playoffs. I'm shocked yeah. about that because, you know, they won the championship in 2016, great game, you know. And then LeBron left, Kyrie left, Kevin Love left, and now they've kind of sucked the last couple of years. And they finally built up a nice little roster, but I just don't see them going far. <clears throat> see, I think my Boston – see, I'm a Boston Celtics fan, so <laughs> I think my Celtics are going – we're breaking the curse. We're, we're winning the championship. Who do you think is going to win the NBA Finals this year? Well, I haven't really been following it a whole lot, though. My uh, Ohio native bias is really rooting for the Cavaliers to go all the way and, and win the big game and, and give us <clears> – <throat> Another championship. Another Ohio championship. So hoping Ohio mm -hmm. State gets that next year, you know. Yep. Uh, Seems like it, yeah. Yep. I'm a scarlet-blooded Ohio one. Oh yeah. You know, with Ohio State, you know, they're looking good for next year. You know, you got Caleb Downs, Quinchon Jenkins, yeah. you got Will Howard. Yeah. I, you got all these nice, like Jeremiah believe, Smith. You know. I believe the team is lopsided. You know, they still need to fulfill key positions. Yeah. Like, like, like yeah. Tackle, offensive like. line and stuff. I don't know how. Uh, Will Howard would do. Um, he's similar to uh, to um, the quarterback that we just had, yeah, and uh, you know, Kyle McCord. Yeah. Kyle McCord. Yeah. I can't, I can't even remember his name. That's how bad he was. Like, he didn't scurry off to Syracuse, you know. Um, the yeah. good thing is uh, we have we just signed two five-star quarterbacks, Aaron Nolan, and the number one quarterback in the country, Julian Sain. So, if Will Howard does not perform, I think Ryan Day has options. So. You can bench Will Howard to get, see. Last year we didn't really have that quarterback depth. You know we had Devin Brown, Lincoln Keenholz, but they were just unex inexperienced. So it's the same thing with these two quarterbacks yeah. coming in. Um, but this is Ryan Day's like last opportunity. I mean, it should be easy now because there ain't no you know, <laughs> there's no Jim Harbaugh. So come on, Ryan Day has done great things for Ohio State's program. I mean, I mean his I mean he has a really good record. I mean the percentage of wins compared to the amount of losses. But those uh, wins are two teams that they should win. You know they lose against the right. big ones against the top ten opponents, and that's what you pay yeah. to pay. In Ohio they State they, they beat the Western Kentuckys by like 56 points. They beat a uh, what? Youngstown State by 48 points, and, the only and then they play. Then they, they're not good when they beat, play Michigan. So I think this year, you know, this is Harbaugh's off the NFL. JJ McCarthy's gone. Blake Corum's yeah, gone. The good wire, uh, Roman Wilson's gone. You know, I mean, they are bringing back Donovan Edwards, but okay. they're still under investigation with the, with the whole cheating scandal. So, I mean, when the hammer comes down, I hope, <coughs> I hope Michigan crumbles underneath. Oh yeah. <laughs> so I'm. I have my concerns because ev it seems like every single year it's the same old. Like this is Ohio State's year. This is Ohio State's year. It's like I'm just. I'm just. I'm tired of getting my hopes up, and I'm tired of of us losing at the 11th hour, like the national, like the the game before the national championship yeah. against Georgia. No. One point. And uh, to me, I'll believe it when I see it. They've said that we have a great team, but I'll believe it when I see it when they're actually on the field and playing. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, playoffs are expanding this year. You got Ohio State's going to be good. You got Texas. They're going to be good. You got Georgia's going to be good. So yeah, I, I think Ohio State, they got all the pieces to compete for a championship. So we just I mean, the Big Ten is going to get at least three teams, and especially since they're expanding. You know, they add Washington, Oregon, You'll and the two – uh, California schools. Yeah. You, so it would be interesting. Central also, California? Yeah. yeah. Also, we play Oregon our schedule, so we, oh, uh, we owe Oregon one. And we <coughs> that's going to be, I feel like that's, a, we that's play, a test game. We play at Oregon, so it's going to be a, a sight to see. You know? If Ohio State plays good, then they're going far. But if they play sloppy and win, or sloppy and lose, I, I mean, could be, I believe, I'll be concerned. I mean, I believe Ohio State yeah. can get in with two losses. I mean, because it's of the Spanish. Yeah. It's Spanish. So, uh, It'll be, like I said, if they beat Michigan, they should beat Michigan. Ryan. They should beat Michigan. They should have beat Michigan the past three years. Yep. And they only lost because cheating, 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 and cheating. <laughs> yep. I, I totally agree with you, man. You know, <clears throat> they got caught a couple years ago with cheating. So it's unfortunate, but just the way it goes, you know. It's, 
Uh, next year's our year. So switch topics up a little bit. We're going to talk about March Madness coming up. So, you know, <clears throat> March is next month. We've got the big tournament. <clears throat> so let's start with Ohio State basketball, you know. They've what, lost nine out of the last ten. They're yeah, 13, 13 and ten. 13 and ten, you know. Wow. <laughs> That's, uh, you know, they just, like, lost another game last night. I was watching. I'm like, they were up by 18 points at halftime, and then they blew it. So I'm like, there's no way they're losing, you know. <clears throat> and... I, I mean, I like I like Chris Mul I like Chris Mullen, but he just gotta go. He just has to go. You know, like they have they have a good team. You know, they got they got the you know they get signed the number one player from Ohio from D Pickerton Central, Devin Royal. You know, they they got these good prospects coming in. You know, they got Tyson Chapman. You got you, you got pieces to to go far in the tournament, and we got no, they're not even gonna make the tournament this year. But you know what's interesting. Darn. Uh, the SEC, uh, damn near all their opponents, um, is in the tournament currently. So yeah. yeah, I can't stand the SS SEC. SEC, SEC, yes. Can't stand them. But you got teams like Auburn, Ole Miss, uh, Tennessee, Kentucky. All these teams have a chance, you know. <clears throat> you see, I know. I just like remember watching, like watching college basketball in like, 2012. You know, <clears throat> players would actually like stay, and like you like know all the rosters. And nowadays. Like, people are, like, they just go to the NBA after one year, so. Like, I don't even know who, like, the best team is right now. I think it's, like, U UConn or something. U yeah, UConn is the number one team. And also, Big 12. Big 12, you know, they're always good. You know, Texas, got Oklahoma. Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas. But Texas, <laughs> Oklahoma moving. But you have BYU, Cincinnati. You know, they have pretty good records. I'm a, I, easily, the Big 12 can get 10 teams in. Easily. Oh, yeah. Since Ohio State can't make it to the tournament, who do you think <coughs> should go all the way and clinch the championship and win it all? Hmm, you see, that's, that's a tough question because the thing about March Madness is you got a 16 seed you could go all the way. So <coughs> it's just like you just Right. So I would have to go with the Duke Blue Devils. You think Duke? Yes. Uh, you think you really think that? I think uh, Kyle. What's his name? Kyle Flip, the big, Flip big tall guy. Yeah. yeah. I I think <laughs> North Carolina. I think North Carolina has an experienced team. You got Armando Baycott. You have Jordan Davis. I, I think they're an experienced team. You know they've been to the promised land several times before. I think they have a chance of making a deep run. Uh, they'll be a currently a three seed, potentially a two seed. So I think they can make some noise in the uh, in the tournament. I also think UConn is the team to beat. You know, you also have Houston. They have pretty good guard play. <coughs> I think when it comes to the tournament, I think two things that you have to have. You have to have good guard play, and you have mm -hmm. to have uh, seniors and experienced vets on your team that could take you there. And that's something Ohio State does not have. And that's yeah. why they're going to miss the tournament for a second year. Now, the only reason I could see them make the tournament is if they win the Big Ten Championship, which I doubt it because you got Purdue, who's... One of the best teams in the country. They got big Zach Eddy. He's an absolute stud. Purdue like, he's so good. It's the same Purdue <coughs> team. You know, they're always a great a regular season team, but when it comes to the playoffs, you know, they always crumble because they find ways just to collapse on Eddy, <coughs> and they have no guard play. You know, they struggle mm -hmm. shooting the ball. You know, they lost to FDU 16 seed. So fun fact about Eddie, You know, he played co he played high school hockey. <laughs> you know, seven foot guy playing so, hockey. See, I played high school hockey, and I would be afraid to go up against him, but. I mean, I think Purdue gets out of the first round, but I don't think they're going to go all the way. No, I think the second second round at best. Um, yeah, we'll have to wait and see to see what happens exactly. Who do, who, who do you think is going to go all the way? I really don't know. It To me, it's anybody's game, if you ask Ohio me. Ohio State. I mean, if they uh, want to make the tournament. You know what? I'm going to so. shoot for the, I'm going to shoot for the moon. Ohio State. I could hey. be, this is probably going to age like milk, but I'm going to say Ohio State. Hey, anything could happen, man. Yes, anything can anything. happen. Anything can happen. So we got 30 seconds left on the show. You know, we got. Let's talk about hockey, real quick. Lots of hockey. Oh yeah. So you got the hometown Blue Jacks kind of struggling. My favorite team, the Chicago Blackhawks, are struggling. You know, Stanley Cup players are coming up. So <clears throat> give me Edmonton in the finals. Who do you think is gonna win? I don't know. Well, um, can't wait to see. I guess I'll go with the Blue Jackets. So, with, and with that, that's all the time we have for this show, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.